Hello, now today is Friday, praise God. Listen, we've been talking about fulfillment of prophecies. And now this is a new month. And I was sharing what the Lord was saying concerning this month of April. I said, does God actually speak about months and things? Yes, he does. He does. So I say, eh, eh, it's, it's human beings that divided. No, sir. Human beings didn't divide the months and the years. They did it. God did. See, how? In the book of Genesis, when God created the moon and the stars, what did he say? Oh, 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 let's go there, let's go there, let's go there. Praise God. See, see Genesis, Kalabo, Soproko, Dihiki, Ishki, Bahana. Oh, Rekim, Baragadish, Abarabato, Sopradika. Merede, Jaguanda, bro, to shake it, Tahana. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14. And God said, Let there be light in the firmaments of the heavens. To divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Did you see that? So God created all the lights in the firmament. So when you see the stars, the moon, the sun, when you see all of them, he says, look, hey, you know what they are doing? They are to divide day and night. And then they will be for signs and for seasons. So, so, so for years, so they separate seasons, they separate years, they separate time. See, so that's why some people can look at the moon and the angle of the sun and tell you what time it is. That's actually how they, they formulated wristwatch and, and clocks and things like that. It's not somebody that sat down and said, okay, let's have a meeting. Let's divide the world into times. No, no, no. God said that from the beginning. Now, if God said that from the beginning, do you think it's just wake up and sleep so that we'll have time to sleep? No. Every day has a purpose. Oh, you didn't know this? There are angels responsible. Hey, hey, hey. Do you know? Do, do you know there are angels responsible for all these things? There are angels responsible for the intensity of the sun. Said, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, now, that's why God was bold to tell us, the sun shall not smite thee by day, not the moon by day night halakai you know why because he controls it what do you mean so you mean when the sun is so hot god is going yes he is he is so why does he make it so hot <laughs> when it's so hot i'll tell you what to do lord remember your word the sun will not smite me by day therefore i receive coolness right now in this sun i receive cool i'm telling you the truth you you must learn to live by truth I receive coolness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And guess what? You know, you know, you remember Jonah. <clears throat> when, when Jonah was sent to go preach at Nineveh, you know, he finished preaching. After he obeyed, he finished preaching. And he went outside of the city and sat down somewhere. I was waiting to see if God was going to destroy the city, like God said. So that's why he was angry with God. He, he didn't want to go from the beginning. Not because he was a disobedient prophet. Because he just felt, Lord, see, I know you. And that's what he said. If you read it, he, he said, this is what I said when I was in my own city. That it's pointless coming here to preach. Because you are eventually, you are a merciful God. You will forgive these people. It's me that will not look like a bad prophet. I came to tell them you will die if you don't repent. So he was there. And then suddenly, he fell asleep. And God caused a, a shrub, a, a tree to grow. And that tree gave him shade. You know, so he just felt, all of a sudden, he felt, man, something is cool around here. And then the next thing, God cut it off. And then he woke up and said, what nonsense. Who, who, who came to cut this thing? He thought he was in a deep sleep. And some fellow came to cut off. Who must have done this wicked? This tree that was giving me shade. And God said, look at you. You are complaining about the tree. That somebody destroyed a tree that was giving you shit. So that tree had a purpose. And now you want me to destroy all these people who don't know they are left from their rights. <laughs> Praise. Now that's the mercy of God at work there. 
But I am pointing out to the fact that God caused that tree to grow, to give Jonah shade. It wasn't in a vision. Truly, a tree grew out in a moment. So if a tree can grow up in a moment, having leaves and causing this man to have shade, think about what God can do for you in the midst of the sun. Ah, is this something physical? So we're not talking about spiritual things. No, physical. The sun is scourging. You remember what God said and remind him, Father, you said the sun shall not smite me by day. You live in an area and you say, they say flood is coming and the flood is coming to destroy all this place. Hey, flood, this is my home. You don't come here. Really? I can speak to the flood? You can't. Didn't you read that Jesus spoke to the waves? Oh, my fikar in the bro of Do you know why Jesus spoke to the waves and the waves stopped immediately? You know why? You want to know why? There were angels behind those waves. <laughs> Hey, hey, Kamunda Zavagadi. Everything you see in the universe have angelic beings doing their work behind the scene, upholding it. So when you see day and night, when you see seasons, even within the day, there are angels that change watches. You don't know these things, but I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. The Bible says we're in the midst of an innumerable company of angels. Ask yourself this question. What do you think they are doing? You think they are just there? You know, some people have these funny ideas. Angels just have wings and they are flying all over the place. You think, you think they are just, you know, come on now. Everything God does is with a purpose and every angel that is on the earth every angel that is in the sky every angel everywhere they walk according to purpose and brothers and sisters guess what he told us he says they are ministries very sent forth to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation so angels are here to help you why then are you not taking advantage of the help of angels so when you speak to the flood and say, don't come here because I stay here. All right, the angels hear you. The son of God is there. So divert the flood. Let him know. I'm telling you, the flood will come around your neighborhood, but your house will be spared. Everybody's going to wonder, how? The same thing. Listen, don't attribute everything to Satan, but speak to the things. There's destruction coming. You speak to it. You say, hey, you destruction. Don't come here. There is a boundary I place in this place. Don't cross it. It will hear you. Now, if angels will hear you, is it demons that want to stand against your word? Do they know by the authority which for, with which you speak? You are speaking by the authority of of Jesus Christ and he freely gave us that authority so when we speak angels listen when we speak demons run away thank you Jesus just like in, in, in the story of Daniel the Bible talks about the prince of Persia you know I don't know who gave people this idea that the prince of Persia was a demonic spirit so you know it's funny to think about it so a demonic spirit held an angel from heaven bound and the angel couldn't pass and then someone say there are different levels of angels some angels are, are baby angels so a demon can hold them back come on where did that mindset ever come from where the prince of Pesha was never a demonic spirit. It wasn't a, de a demonic angel. No. He was an angel of God. Now, so why did he stop the, the angel that was coming for Daniel? It's simply uh, simple authority. Now, the prince of, why was he called the prince of, just like you have the prince of I Israel. The prince of Israel is, is Michael. Angel Michael is in charge of Israel. You need to understand these things. 
Now, he's the one responsible for Israel. But you see, at that season, he was not operational at his duty post. Why? Because Israel have gone into captivity to the land of Pesha. So, so Israel was now under the rule, under Pesha rule. So it then means the prince of Pesha was now in charge even over the land of Israel because now they were under author his authority. So angel had to be called back to heaven. Michael, excuse me. But when that challenge came, when, when that angel was said, because see, now Daniel was communicating with God, irrespective of the prince of Pesha. God, he never recognized the prince of Pesha. So he was communicating with God. And God sends an answer to him. Oh, oh, oh. You, you need to know how angels, how, how heaven operates. He said, why would God send an angel to Daniel? Because the angel was coming with a script of things that have been written in heaven. So that was what was dispatched from heaven to Daniel. See? He said, where was the Holy Spirit? <laughs> ah, Lord, increase us in knowledge. Increase us in knowledge that we may know these things that are true. These things that are written. There is so much ignorance in the earth. That I say these simple things and, and, and they, they look so far away. Was the Holy Spirit at work? Yes, he was. But angels still have their role. You need, you need to come to understand how the Holy Spirit works with angelic beings. You need to know how they work. See? Angels have been stationed. There are angels that are on earth. Then also there are angels that are shuttled between heaven and earth. I'm sharing these things with you because let me tell you the truth. We are entering into a place where angelic ministrations will be needed. This month of April, oh, ha, 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 I'm not saying God is sending angelic ministry. I'm telling you, it will be needed. And if it's going to be needed, then there's going to be an abundant supply of it. So you need to know how to function in the midst of of angels thank you jesus thank you jesus mm. so this angel was coming but you see there is law in heaven angels follow laws they follow authority they don't break ranks so this angel coming into pesha to meet this man daniel had to go through the prince of pesha now, Daniel's request was not recognized by the prince of Persia because Daniel was asking something about another nation. He was asking something that was beyond Persia, but yet he was in Persia as a slave. So when the prince of Persia saw this angel with a strange assignment, with a strange script, what's going on here? Oh, I've got a message for someone in your, in your region. We didn't make any such request. I won't let you pass. The angel couldn't fight him until Michael came. Now, why was Michael sent? Because, see, Michael was sent because Daniel, but Daniel was an Israelite. Daniel was, was of the nation of Israel for which Michael was the priest. Sorry, prince. Michael is the angel in charge of Israel. So he had to be sent. He said, look, Go settle this matter. And he got there and said, look, you know why we're, our people are here? Yes, so you've got to let this go. He's, I'm, I'm authorizing it. Praise God. And, and the angel came and said, look, man, see what happened. Praise God. Yeah, I'm telling you, it wasn't a demonic spirit. Think about it. So a demonic spirit will now hold an angel to ransom. Come on now. It was an authority fight that was taking place. Now, now, this, I, I would, I would, I'm going to be explaining these things from next week. So you understand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, this weekend, I pray that you receive angelic ministration. And that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. May your eyes be opened to see what God has done already that is good for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.